Thank you, thank you, Mr. Harris, Dr. Harris. Uh, Director Bombwich, I'm, I'm not a, a big government guy in case it, it, it never occurred to you. And I'm just confused on, on wanting on, on your, and concerned about you, you wanting to extend your reach into these service contractors. Doesn't it make sense, both from a uh, streamlined standpoint, from a uh, financial standpoint, for you to be able to, to continue to regulate just the operator and, and then have and, and, and have the so that you can point the finger directly at the responsible party and then if the operator fails to oversee his subcontractors and his service companies um, then that's 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 the operator's fault why I just get I always get concerned when the federal government just wants to reach in more into in, into more of our industries when when clearly in the chain of command especially in the oil and gas section, the operator is the guy in charge. The operator is the guy in charge. The operator will remain the guy in charge. We will continue to go against the operator in most cases in which there are serious regulatory violations. But I don't think it makes any sense to say we will never, under any circumstances, proceed to take regulatory action against a contractor, no matter how egregious its conduct may be in one incident or a series of incidents. But, I but just it, don't think that's a responsible way to behave as a regulator. Well, but, but well, I, I know what the problem is. As a bureaucrat, you don't believe well, that, that the private I'm sector. I mean, but look, if a, if a subcontractor and a service contractor fails to do its job uh, according to the specifications that the operator gives him, then that service contractor will more than likely go out of business. Uh, uh, and so there's a penalty that is paid. It's a penalty much greater than any government can impose on on the private sector, and that is the lack of a customer. Um, and I, I just get concerned that under this 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 chain, um, we're going to get a a a, a deal where everyone's going to start pointing fingers at the other. When right now you and, and look, I, I want to give you the ability uh, to enforce and properly regulate the industry. Um, uh, in an economical manner, but right now you have the ability to go directly to that operator, you hold the operator accountable, and therefore the operator should hold his service contractors accountable. Don't you agree with that? Uh, I agree that uh, it makes sense in most cases to go against the operator, but let's take a case where you have an operator and the contractor or service company concealed all of the bad things that it was doing from the operator, and the operator really had no way in the exercise of due diligence to find out the bad things the contractor was but doing. But isn't that and something finish, that the please, court should finish. flesh out? So in, the, in that case, it makes no sense to me that a regulator is going to decline to take action against the contractor. It makes no sense at all. But, but, but and that's in most cases you agree with me, and so now the taxpayer has to pay more because we're trying to eliminate a smaller percentage. That, that's, that's I, I, I don't accept that the taxpayer will have to pay more if... Somebody has to pay. Well, no, maybe it probably will proceed using the same resources that we already have. If we start an investigation or regulatory action with respect to an operator and to get the bulk of the facts, we need to focus on the activities of the contractor, we may spend no additional resources in doing that work, but our focus will simply shift. Thank you, Mr. Time of the gentleman has expired.